I'm down to my last dollar I'm weak in the knees and soft in the holler I found a place where we can go A little piece of land where the west wind blows Where the west wind blows Let's get lost with no direction Thirty-five heads south on sexy Found a place where time will slow A little piece of land where the west wind blows Where the west wind blows I wanna be with you So much here has brought us down. I leave it all for this crazy little love we found. I've been wondering just where to call home And I said, baby, what I realized Where you are is where I belong So much here has brought us down I leave it all for this crazy little love we found Let's go check it out. Hmm. Okay. Here we are. This is all inside the bookstore. We're here at the uh, restaurant area, the uh, bookstore. Just taking some shots and letting everybody check everything out. It's also like a little coffee shop too. Cool. And this is where a lot of the activities are going to be set up and stuff for uh, the book signing and stuff. Here we go. Cool. You're the owner. What's your name again? Uh, actually, my wife's the owner. Oh, well. Uh, so well, yeah, you're the I, I am, you're the, I'm the husband of the owner. The husband of the owner. Okay, well, I, I've written down some of the information yeah. too. It's Dan Stewart. Dan Stewart. Dan and, Stewart. And, 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 and uh, my wife Marla is the one. That Okay, here we are at the uh, Sugar Tree Ministry, and we're actually in the coffee shop right now, right? Yeah. Uh, Joe's, Joe's Java House. Joe's Java House, and I'm with <laughs> Alan Willoughby. Alan, it's nice to meet you. And you're the he you're the head man of this whole operation. It's quite an operation. Uh, why don't you go ahead and give the audience uh, a rendition of uh, what all's involved with the Sugar Tree Ministry, and yeah. of course we've got a big, super huge event coming on down the pipe in about what. 
Four days, five days? Yeah, five days. <laughs> so go ahead and let everybody know all about it. That's great. This is our 12th year. We, we started 12 years ago. Um, we actually started as a coffee shop about 12 years ago to get guys and gals dealing with addictions and brokenness off the streets. Some, yeah. were, some were safe to come. Yeah. And that's how we got started. And um, uh, from there, uh, we saw that people were hungry that we were dealing with. Yeah. And um, we had a second church come aboard with us, and then a third church, and then a fourth church. Oh, wow. And within a month, we had about five churches helping oh, us out. Because we saw that people needed clothes, they needed shoes, they needed things that we were taking for granted, you know. Right. And um, uh, about a month and a half into the process, we ended up with almost 10 churches helping us out. And, and uh, we outgrew our first building, which was uh, about 2,500 square feet, about four years into the process. Okay. We had the opportunity to move to this old factory, oh, um, wow. which is 16,000 square feet. You just, and As yeah. soon as we did this, yeah. uh, our numbers doubled and tripled um, as far as our, our clothing and our food giveaways. Uh, we were feeding about 100 people a day at that time. Yeah. Now, 12 years later, we're feeding 150 people a day, six days a week. Wow. And um, we're giving out close to 8,000 cans of food um, a month now. Yeah. Um, but we still, the thrust of our ministry is still built around recovery, helping yeah. men and women dealing with bro brokenness, addiction, and things. Yeah. And uh, most most of our volunteers are actually people that have one time been helped through the ministry, and, and God has brought it to our lives. And so. Well, it, you, you, of course you're to be congratulated on everything you've done in all your staff, and uh, really have met some great people and stuff. I can see firsthand because we've had a chance to come down here and, and see some of this stuff. The people are so appreciative of everything you're doing and you're to be congratulated on that, but uh, one of the things we want to talk about is because you've got to really be excited because this week is just a blessing that's yeah. uh, unbelievable that it's been bestowed on Wilmington and the people and the ministry and everything. Why don't you let everybody know about what's coming on down to Pike in about five days? In five, well, actually, in the, on the 19th, I don't even know how he found out about us, but Glenn Beck asked us to come on board and on this television show and explain about Wilmington and about our, our ministry and what yeah. we do. And then he sprung on us that they were coming here. <laughs> the 15th of December. Surprise! <laughs> so it's going to be wonderful. Um, they they have seen the unity of our city. Our city is an awesome city. It, it's gone through brokenness. We lost eight to ten thousand jobs. Yeah. About two years ago. Uh, that was with DHL when they DHL when they pulled yeah, out. Yeah. Right. And our numbers act, numbers actually doubled as far as the people that we feed each day. Wow. And so. Um, we now have 32 churches working with us daily, oh, wow. on, on, on a monthly basis. Yeah. Um, and I think somehow Glenn caught wind of all that, yeah. and, and how our city is pulled together. Yeah. And uh, he told me that he'd like to, to see us as an example of a city that got hit really hard early in the recession. Yeah. And is pulling itself out. Yeah. And, uh, and it really sounds like, you know, I've had a chance to go around and talk with some of the real nice people over at the uh, bookstore, uh, Murphy's Theater, um, at the, the General Denver Hotel yeah. and stuff like that, the staff over there. And it's really amazing. And I don't think probably anybody realizes just how big of an event this is going to be. Because now, you know, I've heard numbers tossed around anywhere from 10, 20,000, 30,000 people you know, showing up. We don't have a clue. Uh, <laughs> the city, I went to a city meeting the other day. They're expecting 7,500. Okay. I know there'll be more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just amazing. And you, the one thing I think an overriding factor, I think, is uh, people don't give him enough credit because he's got a lot of detractors out there. But all the work that Glenn Beck has done on a charity and on a religious type of uh, thing to help people out that truly need it, and everybody tries to portray him as kind of a wacky crazy. Easy right, right winger or whatever stuff, so, but he's not really like that. He's no, been kind of. He was a cool guy. He was very, very caring. Yeah. Uh, just very personal. He just, he really did care about our community. He did care about our, our ministry personally. Yeah. And I, I was really impressed with Glenn and his, and his entire staff has been unbelievable. Yeah, and, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing him down there. Hopefully, I'll have a chance to talk to him. And why don't you also give a nice plug because you had somebody else that did a, uh, something really nice uh, yeah. for you, and I shot some nice footage of. But Rachel uh, Ray came and paid a visit. So why don't you let everybody know about that? Same thing happened last year at this time. It was, okay. it was crazy. It was just a little bit before Thanksgiving, and um, Rachel Ray's crew popped in. They said they're going to do a story about Wilmington. Yeah. 
they started interviewing us about noon. We get this phone call from Rachel herself and says, are you surprised? I said, oh yeah, we're yeah. doing a show about you guys. And I said, well, that's, this is awesome. Yeah. She said, but besides that, we're going to remodel your entire kitchen. Oh, wow. So they had um, Carter Osterhouse from Extreme Home Makeover come in. And okay. He just blessed our socks off. And, uh, uh, it's... Did, you know, and they kicked us out here for nine days. We came back nine days later to a brand new kitchen, and we could feed 200 people real easy now. It's a beautiful facility, it really is. So you, you've been blessed in a lot of different ways. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, and, but it's not just you; it's the whole community, and it's really amazing how everybody's coming together just for the good of the community and the good of the people. And it, it's an ongoing story. I mean, I had headlines uh, over here from the uh, Columbus Dispatch where the homeless population has just grown by leaps and bounds, and uh, the outgoing city council president has just allocated about three hundred thousand dollars to uh, help with the shelter and stuff and uh, it's a tremendous problem and it's probably not going to go away for the pursuit no, of the future. It's, it's growing. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, growing. it's growing. So hey, congratulations on all Thank the great so work, much. Alan, and uh, good luck on all the events and stuff like that and we'll stay in touch and this is another episode, Riding Away with Dave. There you go. <laughs>